sequel to the fantasy action movie Pacific Rim just opened in theaters. But will fans of the original be happy with this installment? Entertainment reporter Sandy Kenyon here now with his review. And Sandy, Oscar-winning director Guillermo del Toro, He's, he's a producer. That's a good thing, right? Yes, Shirlene. Del Toro directed the first Pacific Rim, which I liked. I said at the time it lived up to his considerable reputation. He was less involved with the sequel and its shows. In fact, mid-March is probably too early to declare a movie the worst of the year. But really, I can't imagine any other picture could ever be as bad as Pacific Rim Uprising. The orgy of destruction left me numb and made my head ache. The only relief from the pointless pummeling came when I howled with laughter at dialogue that is supposed to be serious, but instead plays as ludicrous. Cadets, you better gear up. That's Clint Eastwood's son, Scott, who looks a bit like the old man and sounds like him, too. Hell yeah! But he lacks the charisma that made Dad a superstar. His limitations as an actor dragged down everyone around him, including John Boyega. He is very talented, as his two Star Wars movies clearly demonstrate. But it's doubtful even the best actor in the world could elevate this monster movie. Try everything you've got! The world is threatened by kaijus who were vanquished in the first Pacific Rim, but returned to fight robots known as Jaegers, giant machines built and operated by humans. <laughs> Pilots work in tandem by fusing their minds. Young characters are here to draw millennials, and Pacific Rim Uprising seems calibrated to travel well to draw millions of moviegoers in Asia. Think of this as a business deal which has been filmed, a contract with moviegoers on the losing end of the bargain. And trust me, any spreadsheet is going to be a whole lot more interesting. <laughs> Most of the time getting paid to watch movies is a great job, but when the film I must review is as bad as the Pacific Rim sequel, well, being a critic seems less like a lark and more like a tough task. Tough and tedious too. <laughs>